So you just got a Canon DSLR camera but don't know which memory card to get? Let's figure out which one is the best one for your camera. Hey everyone, Camber here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Today I want to show you what is the best memory card for video for your Canon DSLR camera. And I made another video a while back explaining what all the different numbers on SD cards mean and how to pick the best one for video based on your camera's max recording bitrate. However, the most common question I still get asked on that video is, hey, I just got this camera, what's the best memory card for it? So go ahead and let me know down in the comments what kind of Canon DSLR you're using. What I'm gonna do in this video is group all the cameras by their max recording bitrate and then show you what card I suggest as well as how much recording time that will give you when filming at the highest rate. I have links for all the cards down below in the description so you can check that out once you figure out which one you'll need and also have timestamps below so that you can find your camera model and skip ahead to see what you'll need. If anything I say is confusing as far as card sizes or speed class ratings, then just go check out this other video I made here explaining what all the different numbers on the SD cards mean, so then you'll understand what we're talking about here. First off, we have the T6i with a max recording bitrate of 28.8 megabits per second. And what I suggest for this camera is a 32 gigabyte SD card, which will allow you to shoot at full HD for up to two and a half hours. And the card sizes I'm suggesting here are based on getting you close to two hours or more of shooting time, which is my own personal minimum for when I'm out at live events so that I can leave my cameras rolling and not worry about running out of space. But if you think you need more space, you can always go with the 64 gigabyte card, which will double the amount of time you can record. Or if you need less, you can go with the 16 gigabyte card, which will be half the time. Next, we have the T6 and the T7, which both shoot at a maximum of 46 megabits per second. And for these, I suggest a 64 gigabyte card, which will allow you to shoot at full HD for just over three hours. Next, we have the SL2 and the 6D Mark II, which both shoot at a maximum of 60 megabits per second. And for these, I suggest the same 64 gigabyte card, but since these cameras have a higher recording bit rate, which will give you better quality, that results in being able to shoot full HD for about two hours and 20 minutes. In this next group of cameras that shoot at a maximum of 90 megabits per second, we have the T7i, 77D, 80D, 7D Mark II, and the 5D Mark III. And for these, I suggest a 128 gigabyte U3 card, which will give you full HD for just over three hours. I also suggest this same 128 gigabyte card for the SL3 and the 90D, which both shoot at a maximum of 120 megabits per second, giving you 4K for about two hours and 20 minutes. Next, we have the 5D Mark IV, which shoots at a maximum of 500 megabits per second, and this camera takes both SD cards and compact flash cards. You'll need a 256 gigabyte compact flash card to shoot 4K at that max bit rate of 500 megabits per second for one hour and eight minutes. You can also use SD cards. However, the SD card slot in this camera is only UHS-1 compatible, which means you can only use cards that have a minimum sustained write speed of U3 or V30 and higher rates than this require a UHS-2 compatible camera. So if you try using an SD card to record at those 4K speeds, you'll probably start getting dropped frames and error messages in the camera. But at full HD, you can shoot 60 frames per second at 180 megabits per second. However, since most people are using 60 frames per second in smaller amounts for slow motion and filming at 24 frames per second, which records at 90 megabits per second on this camera, a 128 gigabyte U3 card will give you full HD for just over three hours at 24 frames per second and half that time when at 60 frames per second. And last we have the 1DX Mark II, which shoots at a maximum of 800 megabits per second in 4K at 60 frames per second and 500 megabits per second in 4K at 24 frames per second. And this camera takes both compact flash cards and CFast cards. However, compact flash cards aren't fast enough to handle the highest 4K bit rate of 800 megabits per second. So a 512 gigabyte CFast card will give you 4K for one hour and 25 minutes at 60 frames per second and two hours and 16 minutes at 24 frames per second. But these cards are quite expensive, so a 256 gigabyte card will give you half those times with 4K at 60 frames per second for 42 minutes and 4K at 24 frames per second for one hour and eight minutes. 
And those are the best memory cards that I suggest for video based on the max recording bit rates of these various Canon DSLR cameras. And again, I have links down below in the description for all these cards so you can find the one that I talked about for your camera. Click on the link and it'll take you right over to where you need to go. If you do have any more questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to clarify anything I can. And this video is helpful. Please help me out by leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.